Willie D Live. What's up, family? We got a mother who denied the father of her son the opportunity to watch him graduate. And for that, she was dragged all over social media. I ain't got no problem with that. But some of y'all do. So let's talk about it. There are people saying, hey man, we don't know what he did to her to make her feel that way. We don't know what kind of pain he caused her. True, just looking at it at surface, we really don't know. We don't have the full context of the story. All we see is a guy following his baby mother and his son to the school and the baby mother turns around and yells at him that he's going to jail because she called the authorities on him and he's like look I just want to come watch my son graduate and bring him a gift and he was talking about how his son was crying and because he wanted to see him and so on and so on and so on Family, if you have not already procreated, I want you to listen to me and listen to me closely. Picking the person that you are going to procreate with, bring children into this world with, is perhaps the greatest decision you'll ever make in your life. Choose wisely. If you see the red flags, run, respect it. When they show you who they are, believe them. And they show you who they are well before you procreate with them and well before you marry and all that stuff. Now, for those of you who have the one night stands and roll that dice, hey, that's on you. I ain't got nothing for you. You just got to deal with it. Whatever it is, you got to deal with it. And that's the thing. If you do jump out there and now you get to know who this person is, now you're learning and now you're going, pull me, woe me. No, 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 no. You made your bed. You got to lie in it. You got to step up. If you end up procreating, you, ain't, you don't really know this person, but you're in the heat of the moment. You know, you, you got butt naked. Maybe you just dropped your drawers or whatever. Everything else was on. I don't know. Whatever you did, you did it. And a child came out of that. You got to deal with it. Whatever kind of person that person is, you got to deal with it and stop all that damn crying. The thing about dude and that woman, whether she was right or wrong, he picked her. He knew what he had. He picked her. And now he's filming his interaction with her and posting it on social media, trying to get some sympathy. Perhaps he's trying to use the video in court, you know, to take in the court as evidence or whatever. But at the end of the day, he picked her. She picked him. And I'm going to tell you something, fam. The way she turned around, she turned around violently. How you going to jail? And she was walking. She was hard walking. Walking real hard with the child. Yeah, stomping like, yeah, uh, uh, like. There are too many toxic people. Too many people experiencing mental illness. Too many people who are dealing with trauma to be in relationships, let alone have children. Think about what I'm saying, fam. You ain't even got your own life together. You haven't even figured out how to be in a healthy relationship. And you bring a child into this world. What do you think you're gonna give that child? You haven't even figured it out. But now you got a kid. And 
That kid is counting on you to show them the way. They're counting on you to guide them, to help them make good decisions. Come on, fam. You got to get yourself together first. Just like they'd say on the plane, in case of an emergency, put that life vest on yourself first. You know, put that ox oxygen mask, put that oxygen mask on yourself first before you try to help somebody else. This woman and old buddy, they knew what they were doing before that boy even came into the world. But they let their hormones get the best of them. And they went to hump and raw. And it's not just about hump and raw because you can use protection and still end up with the baby. You know, the rubber can pop, slip off. Or, you know, that baby might be one of them little super babies and just bust through this, you know, uh, just, and boom, next thing you know, three months pregnant. That's how it go. This is why you really, before you decide to sleep some, with somebody, you really need to say to yourself, is this a good person? Is this a good person? Because here's the thing, fam. Things happen. Even if mom and daddy love each other and they're trying their best, sometimes things just don't work out. Sometimes people grow apart and it just don't work out. But at least if you start off with the minimum, the minimum being dealing with a good person, picking a good person to spend quality time with, to have sexual relations with. If that good person fall off the wagon and have a bad run, more than likely they'll revert back to their good nature. But if you start off bad, man, it's all downhill. You ain't, it ain't gonna get better. I can tell you that right now. If it start off bad, it ain't gonna get better. And trying to keep children away from their fathers or even their mothers is a bad idea. That's just a fundamentally bad idea. If they're abusive, that's different. But if you got a father, a mother, trying to be a part of their child's life, they're really trying. They're showing up. In this case, dude say he spent a lot of money on his kids. I'm assuming he's talking about child support. The man paying child support, he's showing up for his child. You got to give him some consideration. You got to get out of your feelings because you're hurting your child even more than you're hurting him. Trust that. And what you don't understand is you're also hurting yourself. Because that child can only be as great as he's poured into. He, he can only get the greatness that's pouring in, poured into him. Whatever's pouring in, poured into him, that's that's in most cases that's what it's going to be. You always got your exceptions, but in most cases, however you're conditioned, that's how you're going to be. So she's really shortchanging herself when she deny her son access or her son's father access to him. You gotta get out of your feelings. It's too many grown people running around here in their 30s, 40s, 50s, even 60s and 70s acting like some damn kids. No more talk.